Hello and welcome back to Sly Raccoon. I'm Octorax and this is Sly Raccoon. Last episode we talked a lot about a lot of deep stuff. About ghosts and stuff. And if they exist. It's very I felt it it was a very good episode. We're gonna jump into the Lair of the Beast. Sounds very weird, huh? Bentley, explain it to us. This industrial strike voodoo gate. Mills Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. Dun dun da la 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 la. Yeah. So we're gonna see what it is. What could it be? It could be a giant parrot. We don't know. Okay, bottles. I see you trying to hide from my sight of sightness. That is a thing that exists. I promise you. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Why do I suck at games? I have no clue. Well, I guess because I haven't played them that much. I mean, I was never a game kid. I wasn't. I wish I was. I really do wish. I just didn't discover video games until very late in my childhood. I don't know if I talked about this, I feel like I have, but the first uh, console I got was the Game Boy Dance when I was seven, and I uh, played it a lot, maybe more than a kid should have, but the thing is, I got some kind of Looney Tunes game that was like collect gems to save Tweety the bird or whatever his name was and uh, that was not like you could you could play that over and over and over again it was like it was kinda like Mario Party in a way you know there's no progression you don't travel to worlds or something like that it's just a game for you to play like any card racer or something like that you know there's no progression you don't finish the game so I never really got a game that shit uh, I never got a game what am I trying to say here I'm trying to say that I didn't feel like I needed to buy a game since I had a game that I still enjoyed uh, so I didn't need to buy a lot of games, which was probably a big mistake, because I was always that kid that didn't waste money, like, if you didn't need to. So, and I saw, like, it was an inconvenience and a waste of money to ah, Don't suck me, blood. Boyo, don't suck- no! Don't suck me! Stop sucking me! God! Gross. About I always had that that way of thinking that if you enjoy something, it's a waste to buy more of it. Like games, if I still enjoyed my games uh, and and enjoyed playing them, because later I got a PS2 and uh, I have played Ratchet and Clank 2 more than I would like to admit, if I say it that way. I have no clue how many times I've finished that game, or how many times I've at least started it. I don't think you could count that on your fingers. Uh, so I didn't play a lot of games. So basically, the games I played was that Looney Tunes game, uh, Donkey Kong Country for uh, Game Boy Advance. Okay, hello, giant snake creature out of nowhere. The worst thing about this is that I need the bottle. I need that bottle. And I can't get it, so I might as just I might as well kill myself. <laughs> no, so the games I basically played were that Looney Tunes game, Donkey Kong Country. I played a few other Game Boy Advance games which I'd never played Pokemon. My friend, my best friend at the time had uh, Pokemon and I always thought it was awesome but I never went to game stores or anything because I live in a sw small TAR! Fuck! I live in a small town and uh, kill I'm gonna kill myself again I hate this 
I live in a small town, there's no game store here, so I always had to like go with my mom as she was shopping for clothes or something to like even look at games, and I rarely got to buy any of them. Um, so I never like saw Pokemon except for the TV show because I love the TV show. Who didn't, man? Um, and so on and so forth. But I love Pokemon today. I have a lot of Pokemon games that I have played through. Where where, where was I going with this topic? <laughs> I think it was about games. I have no yeah about how uh, yeah okay. Uh, and there was a few PS2 games like this one, and basically the whole Slife trilogy. Which I've said in an earlier episode was because of my friend who had, who I played it at, and uh, I bought it because of him. Uh, but that that was basically it. I bought, I played Sly. Finding Nemo was a game I had for the PS2 too that I actually played, well, which was a terrible game, of course. I mean, movie license game. Even back then was so sucky. Try four, four, four. Four, four, four. What do we get? 49% of the game. Nice. These are the blueprints to Miss Ruby's production facility. Oh, to I'll find find bottles. Into your Use it to find breakables and clues nearby. Clues, clue bottles. The, this game says clues, I say bottles, you know, they're, they're the same thing if you haven't ca caught on on that thing. Anyway, 50%! I need to just get the key and 50%. Fuck yeah. Uh, so those were the games I played. Then, I, my PS2 broke when I was like in 8th grade. How old are you in 8th grade? 14? 13, 14? Anyway, and then I bought a PS3, which I, oh, of course, all the Ratchet and Clank games I bought for the, and played uh, for the PlayStation 2. So that is basically the only reason I bought a PS3, because, like, three Ratchet and Clank games were already out when I bought my PS3. So I bought it, played those, were hugely disappointed. Also, the snake helped us just now. Thank you, Snake. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was very disappointed. I mean, Tools of Destruction and A Crack in Time, those were the good games on the PS3 for Ratchet and Clank. But the other ones, and I guess Nexus into the Nexus was acceptable, but the other ones were just... I have, I have finished every Ratchet and Clank game except one. I haven't finished all for one because that game is so terrible. Oh my god. Ugh. It's. Ugh. And I, 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 if you think, yeah, but that's a multiplayer game, you have to have friends. I tried to play with a friend. It was still so boring. I mean, it wasn't fun. It was, it was more like a burden. Oh my god, the green uh, water fuck that. Water flowing of bones and body parts. I enjoy this level too, because it's like a closed in little cave of some sort. And uh, you have to get to several places if you want to get all of the clue bottles. Uh, so and also there's these guys who throw their heads at you. I must say that yeah, throw their heads at you face, at your face. That is exactly what they do. I am looking for clue bottles, but I found this. Instead. So that is the reason I suck at games, <laughs> because I haven't played them. I haven't played a lot of games until recently. Because I have tried to track down, it's much harder to track down games and game systems uh, from the past in Sweden 
because people aren't as interested in games in Sweden as they are in other places of the world, like Japan or uh, USA and stuff. Because there is like, I didn't even realize this until like two months ago, that there is uh, one retro game store in Sweden, which is called Game, just Game, uh, which I actually bought. Uh, I bought the classic NES controller, a Super Mario Sunshine, a GameCube controller, and a GameCube Cube, uh, memory card, which I plugged into my Wii and I played it. And I was very disappointed about the controls. I do not like that game. I haven't finished it yet, but I've gone quite far. I think I have like. 45, 46 shines or something, and uh, yeah, so that game is one of the lesser good Mario games in my opinion. I mean, I love Mario Galaxy. Uh, oof, I love Mario Galaxy. I haven't played. The I have played the first one, but uh, I played the second one first, which is the superior one. I mean, that's not just my opinion. That is a lot of people's opinion. And it is so good, I can't even can't even explain it. I mean, yeah, I guess the controls are pretty clunky in that one too, but not as clunky as uh, Sunshine, at least in my opinion. I never liked the Nunchuck uh, Wii controller that much, but I mean, it works. I wish I had a stable control. Like, uh, I have I have a Wii U. And I bought recently uh, for like Christmas or something. I bought the oh shit shit. Uh, I bought the uh, Wii U Pro controller. And that, if you have a Wii U, you buy it. I'm s I'm telling you right now, you have to buy it because that is the most comfortable controller I have ever held in my life. That is the buttons and the it's so smooth and everything. I mean, it gets gets some time to getting used to if you if you play like Xbox because those two controls are very similar, and like the analog stick uh, is at like higher. Uh, like the analog stick on the right side has switched place with the buttons, so uh, like that takes some time to getting used to, especially if you switch between the game on. Uh, Xbox, uh, Xbox 360 and Death <laughs> and uh, Wii U but like playing Wind Waker with fucking a Wii U Pro Controller it's like so good ok, hey Ms. Ruby oh that is What the fuck? I think I died. No? Why, thank you for that riveting information, Ms. Ruby. I, uh, thank you for the warning. I think I just peed myself a little bit, but... <laughs> Otherwise, I'm good. <laughs> oh, but some other games. I I'm trying to look at my shelf. My shelf is in the other way of the room. On which game? Oh, by the way, if you have Zombie U multiplayer, I always liked multiplayer, but sucked with the nunchuck and the Wii. That is one of the reasons I bought. Uh, main reasons I bought a, a Wii U Pro controller. Uh, to play in multiplayer on some of you, which all of my friends like to do, and that is just like playing a shooter on Xbox. It is so good and very nerve-wracking, especially with the asshole who is holding the Wii U, uh, he tablet controller or whatever it's called. Uh, which, who is like, hey, I'm gonna spawn a zombie right behind you that'll eat your face. 
so that's really bad too and also I can't see but like the Mario platform that the 3D world Mario 3D fuck Mario 3D world Super Smash Brothers uh, I bought the adapter to play it with the GameCube controller but I felt that playing with the the uh, Wii U Pro controller was much more comfortable so I kinda bought that adapter for nothing uh, so that's thing that is my favorite way to play Smart Bros with the Wii U Pro controller I really love the controller if you can't tell if you cannot tell I really like the controller did I miss a bottle? I feel like I did. Maybe not. I have 32. Let's see if that's good enough. I've been listening. I've been listening to um, uh, a lot of Colin Hay recently, actually, which is like very. I don't really really know how to explain it, but it's really mellow, not rock, more like country-esque music, I guess. These codes are nothing Which really like analytical ability. If you if you're trying to relax, it's to very five, good for that. Five Baby What? The overkill acoustic version. Take a listen to that and tell me you don't feel relaxed. I mean, the song is about troubles and blah 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 blah, blah but still, it's a very mellow song. I love it. With this move, you can slow down time whenever you want, not just while jumping. Hold down the triangle button to use it. Slow motion. Slow go, and now we just ride this vine. I really like this because you like have traveled through this level multiple times and then you just take a vine to <gasps> Lucky. Yeah. Uh -huh. We only have a couple levels left. I think there are like two and they're not uh, vault levels like special levels. But we are going to have to do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Sly Raccoon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.